The Ndubusi Kanu Executive Chambers of the Government House in Uweru has come alive again with chairing political appointees waiting to be sworn in and inaugurated as commissioners and special advisors. Upon arrival at the venue, the first set of appointees to be sworn in by Governor Opus Odima are the Secretary to the State Government, Cosmos Iwu, Chief of Staff and his deputies, as well as the Chief Press Secretary. Next to take their oath are commissioners. And then the inauguration of special advisors. Addressing the newly sworn in and inaugurated appointees, Governor Uzodima reiterates his administration's commitment to fighting corruption and upholding tenets of integrity, transparency, and accountability in government. He speaks on the measures put in place by his administration to monitor the performance of all public office holders in the state. I'm sure you will all still recall my promise that a monitoring unit has been set up in my office to monitor the performance of every public office holder in the state. I still stand by this. There shall be a quarterly performance evaluation exercise of your respective portfolios, benchmarked against our existing criteria. Any score below a B average will be considered a failure. Therefore, as you are being deployed to the various ministries and agencies, departments of government, please do well to ensure that you operate based on the civil service rules and guidelines and the other extant laws. While appreciating the government for the privilege to serve, some of the newly sworn in appointees promise to be diligent in their respective duties in accordance with the Chair Prosperity Agenda for the state. It's um, a journey of commitment, a journey of service. Some of us have, um, we're coming from, an, from areas of, of uh, skill sets and, um, and experience. So we wish to bring that to bear in supporting the governor to move the, the state forward. The governor has already set the uh, time uh, frame and the uh, work schedule and he says that everybody should be up to speed with him and that we must redouble our efforts we have to work harder so it calls for harder work so we're going to work very hard because uh, this is a man his excellency who wants to leave a legacy and so anybody joining his team must be determined to work extra hard as he's also working extra hard to deliver even more dividends to the people of Imozi. So that's what we are prepared to do. 19 special advisors were inaugurated and 24 commissioners were sworn in, including the governor, who is also serving as the interim commissioner of lands. Eji Topakute, Channel Television News.